He's being called a murderous monster, and that's because 30-year-old Wilbert Dimash Joel Mendez tonight stands accused of committing a cold-blooded murder on Friday night. He stands accused of murdering 36-year-old Kendra Middleton and her 3-year-old son Aiden Perez while they slept inside their home in St. Matthew's Village, a place where they once found comfort and safety until death, in the form of Mendez, literally came knocking on their door. Middleton and Mendes were estranged, but on that unfortunate Friday night, Mendes appeared on Middleton's doorstep. Entry was refused, and so Mendes set the house ablaze. He came to the house, uh, and Carlo, uh, he wanted to be let in, and he was not alone, and thereafter, uh, he set the house on fire. It was nearing 11 o'clock that night that the crime was committed. One of Middleton's neighbor, Bill Macruz, was one of the first persons who saw the fire starting. I heard the sparklings and the noise like popping and that was when I peeped through my window because I saw like lights so when I saw the house was all in flames and it was so sad and we find out that she was in there with her baby. It was not until Saturday morning that Middleton's family received the bad news. Her aunt Donna Lewis rushed to the scene. I saw Miss Carl like 4.30 from my sister so I immediately called her. I immediately called her back and when I called her, she just started to scream. She asked me, where, where am I, what am I? I? I said, I'm home, what happened? She said, come, please come. I said, what happened? He said that Kendra, they killed Kendra. He said that they killed Kendra and the baby. And I was just in, I was in shock. Honestly, I was in shock. I, I called Kadi and I said, Kadi, you know, Kendra died. And so we just tried to um, like hurry up and change and try to come in at the vehicle for Kondong in St. Matthews. Matthews. And when she arrived in St. Matthews, Mendes was there. I was shocked, you know, I looked at him and I said, what is he doing in there, you know? And like, I, like it's I just an anger came in me, but not something to do him anything because, I mean, we're both Christians and it's you, just an anger that comes in you, but you can't react in a certain way because you are not that type of person to react that way. And so um, he came and, and he said he came to, to talk to her. And first he admit that he didn't do it. Then finally he admit and he said, yes, I am the one that, that killed Kendra and the baby and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And, um, and so he was right here until the police came and, and handcuffed him and took him. He was later charged with two counts of murder and one count of arson. The family believes that Mendes killed his ex Kamala and her son before he set the house on fire with their bleeding bodies inside. It seems to, to us that the, 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 the ex Kamala killed her in the house, both her and the baby. And then he set his house, the house on fire. The family believed that she was killed. Indeed, the family believed that she was killed in the house. Before? before. The burned. house was burned, put on fire. She was killed, she and the baby, because she was on the bed and the baby was like by the floor area, like he was trying, trying to run. You, you saw blood? Blood, yes. a lot of blood. And Middleton reportedly spilled a lot of blood while she was in a relationship with Mendes, who her family described as extremely abusive. She made reports against him, but even so, he kept lurking with the mentality that if he couldn't have her, no one could. We never have any relationship, you never, like, them apart, you know, they weren't together. But he said that if he didn't have her, nobody else would get her. And so, the neighbor said they saw him going there with a gasoline bottle and pouring the gas around the house. He was, it was abusive because she reported to the police, I think several times, she went to the police um, to report report him. The reports were investigated and action was taken into the reports. What type of action? I uh, will not go into the details. Uh, some action was taken in regards to the reports. The tragedy shocked the nation more so that it occurred during Mother's Day weekend. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.